Interesting. The campfire at Whispering Rock. I haven't been here for... days. the top to that stump and a little torch. to keep these torches lit. I remember. I'll bet pyrokinesis would work. They used to keep these torches lit. I remember. crawler in his prime. That's more like it. Mentalis. Well, he looks basically the same. Ah, uh, poor Helmet Fullbear. I guess I'll never get to see his famous psychodicy. Here's Lily's great uncle Bob. Man, that beard must have taken forever to carve. Right. There were seven stumps at camp. Compton Bull, grandfather of my friend Dogen. I wonder if he's any better with animals. I hope I get to meet Cassiopeia someday. I have some questions about her book. Lucretia Mux. Huh. Wonder why she's not included in the Psychic Six. I mean, I guess because that would make it the Psychic Seven. But still, she must have been important, or Ford wouldn't have carved her. There's a note to Ford in here. Looks like it's from Otto Mentalis. Crowley. I think it's time we add a third psychic to our research team. Her name is Lucretia Mux. She's hoping to get out of Grulovia, where her husband was just killed in the war. I know you have concerns about hydraulic mining, Ford, 
But with Lucretia's powerful hydrokinesis, we could wash the Cytanium out of these caves in no time. I feel like the two of us have been digging forever, but with Lucy's help, I feel like I see a light at the end of the tunnel. This is worse than I thought. Well, I seem to remember the inside of your mind wasn't so neat and tidy either. Agent Cruller, I'm here to help. I want to unshatter your mind. Ah, don't bother. I've tried for years. Whoever dropped the kablooey on this mine really didn't want to put back together again. And to tell you the truth, there were some parts of this old brain that weren't doing me much good anyway. Who needs to think about the past all the time, eh? Some memories are best left alone. Now let's get out of here before that bacon gets cold. But Ford! Mm. Now I'm not saying it will be easy, but let's just go see Truman, and I'm sure he'll... Agent Crawler? Ford? Oh, man. I need to find him before I report back to Truman. What was that work he said he had to do? Something about mail? And hair? And shoes? What happened to your hair? A uh, new guy in the salon. Thought I'd give him a shot, but... Scanning access granted. Got some new gadgets available in my shop for testing. I, I mean for per- <laughs> They're totally safe. Not available to interns, obviously. Me, Raz. Permission to enter? Negative. Senior staff only. Ford, it's me. And who are you? <sighs> Don't you realize who I am? Wait. If Nick John Smith is mentoring interns, he must be senior staff, right? I'm telling my dad. I should talk to him. Special. Hang on, Nick. I'll get you out of there. There, man. There you go, Nick. Now stay away from these machines. Hey, Nick. You're senior staff, right? Pony? Can you help me get into the back room? I need to talk to Agent Crawler. Flat rate. Look, Nick. I have a wild idea. Bear with me. If I get you a loner brain of equal or greater value to your own, then you help me get into the back room. Plus... I'll bet the loner brain will keep you safe from all this machinery. First class. I'm gonna take that as a yes. Now, where can I find a brain? That's one Agent Cruller located. Need to find the other two before I regroup with Agent Zanata. Booked up all day. I can wait. You sure a shampoo can, but unless I get a cancellation, you're out of luck. Two forts down. Only one more to find before I can go back to Truman.
Agent Cruller, I need to talk to you. Sorry, Senior League hours. Only members of the Senior League allowed. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's much left of the Senior League. Except for... Compton Bull? No kidding. Huh. Under office number, it just says psycho-isolation. Why would his office be in psycho-isolation? Guess I need to get out there to find out. That's the final Ford. Time to debrief Truman. I think I'm gonna need Only his help. Only members of the Senior League allowed. Only members of the Senior League allowed. Well, it'll grow back. Eventually. Hello? There is one good thing about Molecula coming back. What? I might detect a slight burning odor. Nothing to worry. Hi, Sasha. Rasputin? I'll let you get back to the interrogation. Sorry I can't help. You've done a lot, Rasputin. Thank you. should give the guy a real office. He hasn't tried to take over the world in days. Where's Crawler? I got him to the base, but now he's locked in the bowling alley. And also the mailroom. And the hair salon. Hmm, sounds like he's reverting to some old behavior. He's no good to us like that. I think I could help him, if I could just get closer to him. But to get closer, I need to do some stuff outside the base. Hmm. Put your head near this brain. Uh, thing. I should be able to... There! Full access. That should let you search the whole place, inside and out. Okay. I'll try to get Ford and bring him back here. No, Raz. You're going to find Ford Cruller, and you're going to fix him. You're going to make Ford Cruller whole again. This is just another mind in torment, Raz. It needs a psychonaut to fix it. And I believe in you, Raz. I know you're ready for this. Yes, sir, Agent Zanato. I won't let you down. <laughs> 
I'll put Ford back together again. Godspeed, Psychonaut. Scanning for thinkerprint. Full access granted. Welcome, Grand Head Sonato. Hello, side challenge marker. <sighs> Can't leave this card lying around. Rasputin Delgado, please report to the front desk. You have a visitor. What? <laughs> Rasputin Avocado, you have multiple visitors waiting for you in the reception area. Someone is here to see me? Rasputin Aquato, please come down to the reception area immediately. Your visitors are creating a disturbance. Oh no. It couldn't be. Scanning for fingerprint. <laughs> Rasputin, my boy, tell me, son, did you show them? Did you show them all? Uh, well, yeah, we rescued Truman from the kidnappers, so... I guess? That's my boy. So I suppose that means you're running this whole place now. Dad, what are you doing here? What? Well, we're here to support you, son. We? Of course! You really opened my eyes about the whole psychic thing, son. I'd been acting like a fool, I know that now. But your mother... I knew she'd need more convincing. She's not, after all, like us. Psychics, I mean. You don't have to whisper that here. So, I thought if she saw where you were working and met all your new friends... My mom's here. Son! The whole family is here! Oh, no. been practicing your acrobatics? Uh, 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 he's definitely let his muscle tone suffer. Hey, hey, hey! I think he's put on a little weight. Just what is going on out here? Rasputin, stop goofing around and explain yourself. Who are these people? We are the Aquatos! Traveling thrill givers and practitioners of the acrobatic arts! Great! Well, this is a highly restricted area. The campgrounds are over the hill. Now, if you wouldn't mind hauling that wreck off our landing pad. 
What did you say? If it's too much trouble to haul it, I could always burn it for you. Please, excuse us. We are Rasputin's family. We've come here to support him, not get in the way. We'll move our caravan to the campgrounds. Ah, uh, I want to play in the jet. Maybe your brother can give us a tour later. Whenever he's ready, he knows where to find us. Bye, Pooter. <laughs> that was the greatest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. <sighs> Aha! Maps are always useful. This is amazing! Well, Coach was trying to throw it out, but I knew it was fixable. With this transmitter, KLOB will finally be on the air. Ah, no. KLOB. Hey, Gisu. Rasputin Aquato, say, you seem like the reckless and resourceful type. I have a challenge that I think is perfect for a young man of your disposition. Interested? I'm gonna think about it for a bit. Well, don't wait too long. Psychic pressure's building. <gasps> Anyone wanna see my oarsman's badge? No? Nope, that's not right. 
Here. I think I got the order wrong. There we go. I knew I was good at science. Come with me, Psy Challenge Marker. Rank up for me. One new home for you, side challenge marker. Got it. Finally, I thought you'd never say hi. I tell you, I have been waiting for someone to come visit for a long time. I was starting to think I was invisible. You ever get that feeling? Well, there was this one girl who looked kind of like a blue scarecrow, but she scared me. But you seem nice, so did I guess your name right? It's Raz. Oh, that was the very next name I was going to say, I swear. So, how long are you committing yourself for? Committing myself to what? Psycho-isolation, silly. We don't commit people anymore without their consent. Unless they're a danger to themselves or others. How many people you got in there? Oh, just Agent Bool right now. He likes it in there. Keeps him from feeling overwhelmed by all the you-know-what in the woods. Squirrels? Voices. He can't shut them out. Can you believe he even finds me overwhelming? <laughs> so anyway, I've got a nice room ready for you if you'd like it. Actually, I'm just here to visit Agent Bool. Oh, well, okay. Just be careful. Don't ask him too many things at once, or he'll curl up into a little ball and something might explode. Hi! I came out here looking for something. What was it? Oh, right, a brain for Nick, so I can get in to see Ford, and to keep Nick from getting his head caught in the stamper again. Hmm. I see what you're doing there. Hmm. Oh, you think you're clever, don't you? Looks like there's a Senior League membership card stuck in this frame. Hey, don't even look at that. It's private. Agent Bull? Huh? Hi, I'm Rasputin. I'm a friend of your grandson. Oh no, he hasn't hurt anybody else, has he? No humans that I know of. Good, <laughs> good. Do you need help getting out of there? No, I put myself in here. Why did you put yourself in there? Well, I was feeling a little overwhelmed. And when I get overwhelmed, 
accidents happen. Agent Bull, I need your help. Oh no. With what? I need a Senior League membership card. What? Well, don't look at mine. Please, Agent Bull. It's important. That bowling card is a precious memento of a dear friend. Oh, I'm sorry. Did she die? No, no, she's somewhere. Out in the forest. What? Well, let's go find her. Well, I've tried for years, but I just can't anymore. Please let me borrow your Senior League membership card. No! Now buzz off! <laughs> buzz off! Hey, hang on a second. Exactly what I was thinking, Harold. The bees could help. Cassie and I always loved working with bees in the forest. If you could bring me just one bee, I'll bet I could talk to it and find out where my Cassie is. No kidding? Here, take this and hurry. Okay, one bee coming up. Okay, I'm off to the forgetful forest to find a bee for Agent Bull. This is a serious mission, no matter how adorable it sounds. You were a rabid squirrel. Knock it off, Crazy. It's pretty advanced up here, not for little kids. <laughs> Mine is really dangerous for skeletons.
up here? I'm telling Mom you threw a rock at me. It was a pine cone, you baby. Ow! That was a rock. I'm warning you. Ticking. Looks like the Aquato family circus has traveled through here all right. Yep, we had to hightail it out into the woods because you're ashamed of being an Aquato. I'll stop being ashamed of that if you stop being ashamed of being a psychic. <laughs> oh, you're asking for it, Raspy. Frazy, it's okay. You can tell Dad now. You don't have to hide anymore. <sighs> this is your last warning. Frazy? More where that came from. I think the entrance to the forgetful forest is somewhere here in the questionable area. Oh, Fur Lancelot, thank you. Are those the acorns I asked for? Yes? No. No, they can't be, can they? No, because I asked for acorns that were crushed, didn't I? Didn't I, Fur Lancelot? I hate to yell at you, Fur Lancelot, but I... I... I am the crushed one. It crushes my heart to see you not doing your best. Understand? Now, do I need to show you how to crush things? No? You sure? Okay. Good boy. Now, try again. But this time, think about personal commitment and delivering excellence every day. All right? Sorry you had to see that, Raz. I'll take that card. Hmm. There's a narrow slot, but I don't think I can fit through it. Hey, Sam. Talk fast. Cakes are cooking. I have some questions about pancakes. <laughs> Start flapping, Jack. Why didn't you just go order some pancakes at the cafeteria? Agent Oleander didn't give me any money. I assumed to test my resourcefulness. What's your recipe? Just the basics, you know, eggs, milk, flour. Found most of it here with a couple quick substitutions. What sort of substitutions? If I told you, it would compromise the perceived flavor profile. Isn't that just straight up dirt? For the umami. Weren't all the supplies here kind of old? Look, you can't take the expiration dates too seriously. They're just the food industry protecting itself from lawsuits. And protecting us from, like, food poisoning? Psst. No one's getting sick from my pancakes. Unless one of you jerks didn't wash their hands. Eh, better late than never.
Where'd you get the milk? From the goats? Oh, yeah, that would have been easier. <laughs> hey, it brought us closer, Fran. You used eggs you found here? Old eggs? No! Gross! I found some fresh ones. And you know, if you use enough syrup, you can't tell chicken from snake. Eggs is eggs. Where'd you learn how to make pancakes? Prison. Wait, what did I say? I meant from my mother. Can I have a pancake? You can have any that fall on the floor. Thanks. I'm out of pancake questions. Good, because I'm out of pancake puns. What are you doing out here? Well, you know my intern mentor, Coach Morso Oleander? Uh, yeah? Well, this is the first assignment he gave me. Mission. Get me some pancakes so I can think. I think it's supposed to teach me something about the many layers of the mind. Maybe. I know the butter stands for lateral thinking. I got that much. So, have you always wanted to be a psychonaut too? Uh, not really. My true dream is to be a pet therapist. Because I'm really good with animals. Right, guys? Can I ask you about your family? Why? Because my last name is Bull, and because that's a famous family in the Psy community, and you want to network with me to further your Psy career? Go for it. I'm a friend of your brother's. Hmm. Your head looks remarkably unexploded. It must be the helmet. Has your brother Dogen really made someone's head explode? No, never. Wait. You mean someone who didn't deserve it? No. I mean, like, anybody. Look, nobody's nerfect. <laughs> Am I right? Can everyone in the Bull family talk to animals? Most of us can talk to them, but few of us really know how to listen to the animals. You know, for instance, I can hear you rolling your eyes, Mrs. Thatcher. What can you tell me about Compton Group? Mm, Gramps is nice and all, but honestly, he's a little weird. No, still too tough. Okay, I'll stop asking about your family. The bull's got nothing to hide, unlike some of these squirrels. Relax, I'm talking about your nuts. You guys still hide nuts, right? You guys, learn to laugh a little, okay? You'll live longer. Are you worried about Maligula? Raz, Maligula's ancient history. My grandpa killed her by triggering an elephant stampede. What? I never heard Look, about... You believe the official story, do you? I gotta go. Catch you on the flip side. <laughs> yes, it is funny every time. Out of my kitchen, Raz. Unless you want to end up a pancake. Almost had it. I just need to focus a little longer with my clairvoyance. Almost had it. I just need to focus a little longer with my clairvoyance. Yep. This card. Hmm. There's a narrow slot that I don't think I can fit through.
Well, I guess my family has chosen where to set up the Aquato Dome. What was I doing out here again? Oh, right. Compton needs a bee from the forgetful forest. Jerk. Every day with her could be our last. Forgive you. Mom? I mean, if little children never ran away from home, where would the circus get her workers, huh? Uh. What matters is that the Aquatos are all together again. And this little adventure of yours has actually given me fresh inspiration for our act. Me too! Did you see that unnatural and slightly gimmicky waterfall over there? The one blowing upside down? Stay away from it. No water. Too late, Nona. It has already watered the flower of inspiration in my heart and blossomed in two. Guess what I called it. Guess. The upside down waterfall? The devil's fire hose. Let's show our runaway how we do it, everybody. Creepy on the bottom. This would be easier if you didn't use so much hair grease. It'd be easier if your head weren't so pointy. Now, Rasputin, up top you go. Yes, son. And then you could add a little psychic flourish by levitating this pine cone. No, no. Then we pass each person up the tower like water flowing. No psychic flourishes. I told you. We. Oui. Are acrobats. We don't do parlor tricks. Uh, guys! Why not a little of both? Pops? Oh, Kertingo! You guys! Oh, shush! This is why we taught you how to fall as babies. <sighs> it's no use. We need the Aquatodome. <laughs> I'm on it. Help him out, would you, Pooty? He's had to take on so much extra work since you abandoned your family and broke our hearts. That's a good boy. If there's one thing the Aquatos know how to do, it's making themselves at home. Anywhere.
my old home. I guess you can take the boy out of the caravan, but you can't stop the caravan from hunting him down across the country. Nice trick, Tala. Is Nona looking? Yes, and she looks really impressed. <laughs> Hi, Nona. Oh, hello, my sweet little turnip. Are you comfortable? Do you need anything? I'm happy as long as I'm with my family. Aren't you cold out here in the woods? Ugh, oh, please. I'm from Grulovia. This is nothing. Do you hate psychics as much as mom? You mean fortune tellers? Like the Galogios, the ones who cursed us? They are not natural. They are not trustworthy. Can I ask you about the curse? Don't go near the water. Yes, I know about that part, but... Then you know the whole thing. All you need to know. Nona, who's your favorite grandchild? It's me, right? Oh, of course, you are my favorite. My sweet little Dion. Well, I gotta go back to my spy stuff. Good boy, now don't get a big head. Nobody knows? Uh, it's water, dummies. Jeez, this place is a ripoff. Creepy, there you are. Aw, oh, man, you found my private dancing place. Sorry. Too late. You ruined it. Uh, Mom's looking for you.
my son. Think I'm getting any better at this? Clear your mind. If it were any emptier, I'd pass out. Press harder on your temples. Really? I'm already getting a bit of a bruise there. Just keep practicing. That's it? Focus on the hottest thing you can think of. Okay, then. I'm thinking of your mother. Dad! We're human beings, Rasputin. You're really taking to this psychic stuff. Like, really hard. Well, I guess I'm making up for lost time. Plus, it could be a fun father and son activity for us to do together, don't you think? Uh huh. Dad, can I ask you about where we come from? You mean, Grulovia? That's a sad story, son, but there were some glory days back in the old country. The Aquatos were part of a very prestigious national circus there. We even performed for the Tsar and his family from time to time. But then that monster Maligula ruined everything. Actually, Maligula's not ancient history. Some of her followers are trying to bring her back to life. What? The Psychonauts think one of her delusionists have infiltrated the base as a mole. Then be careful what you tell them, son. We're more connected to Maligula than you should say. What's that? What do you mean we're connected to Maligula? She comes from the Galocchio family. The family that cursed all of our family to die in water? Son, she is the Galocchio who cursed our family to die in water. And it worked. My father drowned in the Valermo Dam disaster. But my mother, your Nona, survived. She escaped Grilovia and came here to get away from the curse. What do you think of the Devil's Fire Hose? Oh, it's going to be a showstopper, I can tell. Your mother never disappoints, you know. I just wish she'd let me add a little, you know, razzle-dazzle. Oh, yes, like that. Thanks for helping out back at summer camp. Well, I could tell somehow you were in trouble. Probably because of our psychic connection. So, how is Lily? I couldn't help but notice when I was inside your mind... Dad! ...that you had some uncertainty about the status of your relationship. What's that? Just tell her how you feel, son. Tell us all how you feel, Raz. <sighs> You know who else in the family is psychic, right? Does it rhyme with Daisy? Yes, and also with Lazy. Well, if that's true, then it's for her to tell us about some, not you. <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right. I had that coming. I don't think Mom's on board with this psychic stuff. Oh, she'll get used to it like she did with my model train hobby. <sighs> Still so sad about how that elephant sat on my whole collection. Dad, our circus doesn't have any elephants. Hmm, true. Not sure where that animal came from. I'll have to ask your mother. She's the one who saw it happen. I'll let you get back to practicing. Yes, yes. I think I'm almost there. Found some of the scavenger. Mission critical. <laughs> Did you see that? How could I not? It caught fire. A little. Mr. Aquato, you almost started a forest fire. <sighs> Thank you. That really relaxed my spinal cartilage.
Hey, Norma. What are you doing out here with my dad? Oh, I'm sorry, Raz. Is this making you jealous? Did your dad... <laughs> Did you see that? How could I not? It caught fire! A little... Mr. Aquato, you almost started a forest fire just then. Well, I don't know about that. I do. You had me re... Oh! old scary spy stuff that's about to explode. Whoa, I am not touching that thing until I know what that is. doesn't love those.
I think it's not running right now for some reason. Can't leave this card lying around. Ah, kids today. I think it's not running right now for some reason. Children under three must be tethered to an adult to prevent floataways. this in the physical world. What a strange place. Welcome to the questionable area, where the only answer is more questions? What's with all the question marks? Don't worry about helping out, Squirt. We're used to getting by without you. Hey, Dion. Mm-hmm. Look, Dion. I know you're mad about me running away. <laughs> Don't flatter yourself. If you hadn't stolen Frazy's horse, we wouldn't have even noticed you were gone. Hey, I sent Sugar Cube back home as soon as I got to the train tracks. Poor little thing was exhausted. Next time you run away, instead of taking the world's smallest pony, call a cab. You'll get farther. Maybe we won't be able to find you. Mom told me you needed help. With what? Reading crystal balls? Beat it, Nostra dumbass. Looks like you need someone to release the ropes. I'll just pop up there and take care of it. Oh, really, Mr. Mental? You think you even remember how to be an acrobat? You'll see. You sure look like you could use some help. You look like you could use a tailor. You sure you're using the right knots on those support ropes? I don't know. Why don't you come a little closer so I can practice my knots on you? Don't you 
Don't you think it's time to get over your anti-psychic stuff? I will when it stops hurting our family. How long are you planning on being mad like this? Forever! Do you even realize what you've done? To the Aquato name? Psychics? Fortune tellers? You let out our family's worst secret. This family has too many secrets. We'll be better off when they're all out. We'll be better off when you're out! Dion... Dad's a psychic. It's a phase. Frazy's a psychic. Oh, that's a great example. Yeah, we should all be more like Frazy. Ow! You wish you could be more like me. <laughs> Bye, Dion. Okay, so that creepy mind stuff did save a little time. But I still don't have to like it. Deal. And you're welcome! Seeing the old Aquato Dome again reminds me of a trick Dion taught me once. Hey, Dion. Mm-hmm. Bye, Dion. Ah, the Aquato Dome. It's not big, but then again, neither were our audiences. I'm just happy that it's not made of meat. Pretty to leave out here.
Mom. Hmm. Oh, yes, Rasputin? What you doing? I'm trying to perfect the devil's fire hose, of course. It's a risky one, but I think this might be the spectacle that puts the Aquatos back on top. Can I help? Yes. Tell me how to make the devil's fire hose reach even greater heights. Maybe if everyone stood on tippy toes? Everyone is already stretched to their full height. I should know. I stretch them every day. What if we incorporate animals into the act? Overall, children are cheaper and slightly cleaner. What if we set everyone's costumes on fire? Very exciting. But these are the only costumes we have, Rasputin. Seems like doing the trick horizontally would be safer. Safety doesn't fill seats, Rasputin. What if everyone were singing? Ugh, I'd rather die in water. Blindfolds? We tried that before. Remember the big pink eye epidemic? Shut us down for a week. Chainsaws? Who will pay for the gasoline, darling? How about some psych- Finish that sentence and it will kill your mother, Rasputin. Well, that's all the ideas I got. Sorry. Hmm. You really want to help me? Go find your brother, Queepy. He's wandered off again. Top of what? Top of the acrobatic world, Rasputin. As the Aquatos once were. Before the curse. Can I ask you about the curse? Not too loud. You know your father doesn't like to talk about it. But as you know, a cruel fortune teller cursed our family, Raz. Every Aquato for all time is cursed to die in water. That is why we had to leave our grand aquatic circus behind and start again at the bottom in this humble family troop. We may not have water anymore, but we still have the most important thing, right? We still have... Family. Highly stretchable ligaments. Oh, yes, and family. Who cursed us? Too many questions. Stay away from the water. That's all you need to know. I stopped arguing with that woman long ago. Dion seems really mad at me. Oh, don't worry about him. He'll get over your betrayal of the family soon. I didn't betray the family. Listen. Your father raised you all to mistrust and dislike fortune tellers. You mean psychics. Mental tricksters. And now your father has this change of heart. Suddenly everything Dion knows to be true is wrong. I'll tell you how to fix things between you. How? Help him with his chores. Go. Why did Dad raise all of us to hate psychics? Acrobats and fortune tellers have one of the great rivalries of the circus. One side uses skill and passion to bring thrills and joy to people's hearts. And the other bends spoons and curses whole families to die in water. But you say you are a psychic now, so we are all being very broad-minded. I am a psychic. So's Dad, and so's for- Ow! Yes. And I still love you all. But please, don't rub my nose in it, Rasputin. How do you feel about Dad being psychic? Every family has its secrets. The trick is to hide your shame away where no one can see it. That doesn't sound very healthy. It's smoking! Hey, everybody! My pine cone is... Oh, never mind. That's my thumb. Does that sound healthy to you? You know, Agent Forsythe is a very important psychonaut. And she's really cool, actually. I think you'd really like each other if you hung out. The woman in the suit? Ugh, we get along just fine. As long as we keep our distance. A circus can only have one prima donna. Sorry about running away. It's okay, Rasputin. I blame myself. Really? Why? I forgot to latch your door that night. You... you latch our door at night? From the outside? Only since Queepy started sleepwalking. Okay, I'm going to go practice my acrobatics. Uh-huh. Remember, every time you lie, it takes a day off your mother's life.
Nice trick, Tala. Is Nona looking? the sound of this thing. Is it a bomb? be a real Yeti in here or I want my money back. date on this thing is the year I was born. hurt somebody. I'm starting to see why this questionable area went out of business. What are you listening to? Some local radio station. I have no idea where it's coming from, but I love it. Oh, can I listen to it with you? No. titanium, but my side pouch isn't big enough to hold it. I should get a bigger pouch at the automatic.
man. This part of the woods is giving me the heebie-jeebies for some... Crazy? I know it's you. I'm not stupid. Ah! <laughs> Crud, it's you. I thought I finally caught a critter. Why are you hunting? Aren't they feeding you? I'm interning with Compton Bull. He sent me out here to catch him some animals. I really don't know if you should be bringing animals to Agent Bull. His grandson is a friend of mine, but that family can be a little bit rough on animals. Oh? And you've never side-blasted a squirrel, nature boy? Uh... That's what I thought. Anyway, it's no use. I'd have to go deeper into the forgetful forest for any really good animals. And there's no way I'm going in there. Why? Telekinetic bears? <gasps> Has nobody told you? About the green needle witch who haunts these woods? Her mother was a banshee, and her father was a porcupine. Let me guess. She hates children and kills them on sight. No, she loves children. She follows them through the forest, and when she catches them, she gives them a big hug. That doesn't sound so... Impaling them on her needles, filling them with holes. Okay, if you could just let me down now... Children, beware. She's there. She's there. The Green Needle Witch has waited. She wants a hug. Don't dare. Don't dare. Or soon you'll be perforated. <laughs> I'm getting a strong psychic sense that Lizzie and Norma are sisters. Sibling detection is one of the less celebrated tools in the Psychonauts playbook. The kind they don't give badges for. 